There's been a call for a mass demonstration in support of workers at the Greyhound Recycling Company in Dublin. They've been maintaining a protest outside the company since the middle of June. Trucks arriving today at the Greyhound depot in Clondalkin in West Dublin left without gaining entry to the compound. The company says this is in breach of an order it secured in the High Court. It's, it's in our right to stand here, you know, I mean that's what we were told by the judge, you're still entitled to do your picket duty. I'm not physically blocking trucks, I'm just standing here as part of the, of the protest. You know, you know, what can we do? We're on the breadline here. And some have been talking about how this dispute is hurting at home. I had my son now going back to school on Wednesday. He's in trans gone into transition here after doing his junior set. And we promised him that if he passed, he'd get a PlayStation 4. He's getting nothing. Nothing. It's been more than two months since 78 Greyhound workers started their action. They say they've been locked out since June 17th because they refused to accept a 35% pay cut. They also claim the company won't consider a return to the Labour Court or LRC unless workers first accept the new conditions. No, that's not the company's position. Our position is we're ready to go into talks now under no conditions or no preconditions from either party. And I think that's the sensible thing to do. Uh, stop engaging in an illegal activity and breach of high court um, injunctions and let's get into discussions get the dispute resolved. The workers here want to do more to raise the profile of the dispute and mobilise the entire trade union movement in the country. They want to organise a mass demonstration in Dublin during working hours over the coming weeks and hopefully pull tens of thousands of workers onto the streets in support of their cause. Both sides say they're willing to talk, but it's hard to see how a breakthrough can be achieved. Brian Daly, The 5.30.